hello to whoever is watching this, which is probably about two people. Um, but hello anyway. Um, so no, there's been a few different people I know have been doing the whole video blog thing uh, the past while. So I thought I'll I'll give one a go uh, and see what it's like. Um, even though one, there's probably about three people in this world who actually care what I have to say, and yeah, so will take time to listen. Um, and two, um, I just get a bit nervous with cameras. Uh, uh, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway. So uh, what I'm going to share today is. Uh, something that two of my friends gave me last week when we were on holiday in Spain. So these two friends uh, went to Spring Harvest um, and I gave them a challenge in Spring Harvest. Their challenge was bring me back a gift that is either free or costs as little as possible and that has a spiritual meaning as well. So they accepted the challenge uh, and this is what uh, they bought me back uh, to complete the challenge. It is a stone. Let me zoom right in so you can see it. Okay, so it's a stone. Pretty, pretty normal. It's a stone. Um, but I like the story that they have behind this. So they told me that this stone represents my part in God's wall. And um, so this sto stone represents me, um, and it goes together with lots of others to make uh, one wall. What a wall of God. God's wall. So uh, I thought that was quite cool, um, and it got me thinking uh, about a few things um, about the body of Christ and the fact that you know we all have a part to play. Um, I was thinking back to a time I was speaking about um, unity uh, in the body of Christ, and uh, I was doing a bit of music and stuff. So to get the point across that everyone has their part to play, and uh, we had the whole band up and we started a song. So then I took away the drummer and I made him sit down. And it was a little bit harder because the band didn't have that beat anymore, but we kept going. So then I took away a few more musicians, got them to sit down, and it was a bit more quiet. It was probably just me and a guitar, okay? And then I got the sound guy to go away. So we lost the sound and it was hard to hear me. Uh, it was it was kind of hard for me to lead. And um, so it got a bit harder. Then. Uh, we kept going, we kept singing, but then we got the, the guy doing PowerPoint to go away as well, and we lost the words, uh, and it became kind of impossible uh, to do what we wanted to do. And the point of that is to show that everyone has a part to play um, in the body of Christ, um, even if you think it's not a big deal, it is. If the caretaker of a church didn't take the time to put out chairs, you'd have nowhere to sit on a Sunday morning. Okay, so everyone's job is important. Um, and as I was thinking about that, um, I have a lot of thoughts during the week, um, it took me back to probably the first song I ever wrote, uh, and it's a song called Born To Be, um, and it's probably just me thinking, I think it was after Spark Acts, it was after a mission week in Ballymena, um, I was just seeing people getting involved, living out the characteristics of God, and it got me thinking, you know, what if we all kind of took up the challenge um, to, to do our part? Um, in the body of Christ, to, to be our stone in God's wall. What if we took it seriously? What if we did it? Um, what if we, you know, aim to be what we were born to be, um, and work towards, um, I suppose, what God has called us to. Um, and from that thought, I wrote a song, which I will play in this video, and hopefully, um, hopefully you'll enjoy it. But it will also get you thinking about what your part to play is in, in God's wall, in the body of Christ, and to kind of inspire you to, to go for it, um, not to stand back and let other people do it, because you don't feel like your job's important. Every single part of the wall is important. Without one stone, it could all come falling down. So, uh, I will play that song now, and uh, thank you for being part of my first blog. Okay, so, um, I'm in a completely different place. It's a completely different day because uh, when I recorded this song on Tuesday, when I recorded the blog, um, my webcam stopped working during it, and like my whole voice went down like a notch, and it made me sound really freaky. Um, so I thought I'd record it again, uh, but before I do that, um, I forgot to point out in the blog that the two people who gave me this stone as a gift, who completed the challenge, uh, were Steph Luke and Sharon Steele. Um, so 
they can't get angry at me now for not mentioning them. Um, so hopefully this time it'll work. Uh, this is born to be. <laughs> Because he loves you. 